This is 89.7 FM. Broadcasting live 24 hours a day. 89.7 FM. Oh yes, you are listening to The Drive By on RMR 89.7 FM. And of course, right now we have a special guest in the studio as the, promised hey as promised the very same lady who sang the song that we just listened to right now with a new hi we welcome into the studio toya de lazy hey zola how you doing i'm all right thanks and yourself <laughs> i'm good i'm good i'm actually yeah. happy to finally be here and we're happy to have you and she's here with her band of course welcome to everyone yeah, thank you for joining no. us and uh yeah we're gonna so, yeah, yeah, sure. He's got that accent, so people realize we're not playing. Ciao, 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 ciao. Oh, yes. you, heard, you heard it. Ciao, ciao, ciao. It's right here on RMR 89.7 FM. It is uh, now 10 to 5, and we're going to kickstart this interview, having a lovely discussion with this incredible artist. Now, firstly, uh, Toya, you have uh, been touring uh, the UK. Yeah. And... Um, from what we know, you are now in your Africa tour, yeah. you are including your UK band and your SA crew. Yes. And how yes. is how is that working? How's that collaboration working? Um, it's working so well. Like um, everybody gels together. I mean, what I find um, the most important, you can have amazing musicians, but if there's no chemistry, you don't yeah, have right. a vibe. Right. So I mean, Mirko, what do you think, man? Working yeah. with um, Trevino and oh, it's just Bashanini. incredible. You know, we just met for the first time a week ago, and it was just great. Wow. It seemed that we knew each other for like ages. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we love that. <laughs> so the chemistry is there, right? Yeah, yeah right, the chemistry is okay. there, and that's what's driving this whole thing. Because, I mean. Uh, this is big. It's like a tour. We're going through Africa. We're driving. I mean, yesterday we drove for almost like 13 hours. Yeah. And if goodness. you're going to be with people in the car, like, at least love them. Yeah. I love yeah. everybody in the, in the team. And yeah, it's working out very well for us thus far. I know, that's awesome. Sorry. We can actually feel the chemistry in the room. Oh, okay? yeah? There's a lot of, uh, you know, just harmony, right, Chen? <laughs> it's really exciting to be a part of it. Now, you recently worked uh, yeah. uh, with on um, Coke Studio. You collaborated with A1 Wolf. Uh, how was that? experience for Oh, A1 is amazing. I mean, I knew him when I was still in Durban, like climbing up the scene and um, yeah, I think it was kind of inevitable that we eventually collaborated mm. and on such a great platform. I mean, Coke Studio, uh, you know, big up to Durban, that's where we started. So yeah, yeah he's an awesome artist. I'm wishing him all the best. I think he's going to do great things. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yes, of course. And we're also excited to have you here because you are performing uh, tonight. Now, yes. we're going to go. Uh, we did some digging, of course, and we actually Ooh. found out. <laughs> oh, no, it's still with your career. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. <laughs> still there. It's still Don't dig too far. <laughs> Uh, you were nominated for the Best International Song category at the Art Music Awards in New York, and you actually won the award. Yes. Uh, yeah. So can you tell us a little bit more about that experience? Oh, that was amazing. I mean, I wrote a song called Forbidden Fruit, and at the time, I mean, um, South Africa was going through quite a crisis with um, the murdering of um, lesbians in South Africa. Mm. I mean, every weekend, like, there'd be a funeral, and a friend of mine, um, uh, if you know her, she's a photographer, um, Zanele Muholi. I met her first in 2013 when we won Glamour Woman of the Year oh, together. So, okay. like, she uh, she basically f f uh, takes uh, photographs and basically documents the history of South African LGBT. Right, right. So, I mean, geez, I'd look at all these posts and I was like, oh my God, you know, mm. um, this is pretty hectic. So, this song really. It wasn't only about the LGBT, it was also about things like marijuana, if I could put it that way. Yeah. Uh, marijuana and cancer, and, and I called it forbidden fruit. Like, what do you do if you then love forbidden fruit? Do you deserve to die for this? Mm. What if it's something that, you know, that just charges your life yeah. and it is who you are? So, um, yeah, I, was sh I didn't know what to expect because the video is quite explicit. I mean, for South Africa, Africa. <laughs> There's a lot of couples, same sex couples kissing. Also, it was just introducing. The, um, the continent to pansexuality mm. because I think like people just think oh you just have one person and if you anything have any other sexuality um, you you incorrect you're not valid you know which is not true sexuality yeah. is quite fluid mm. um, we are born with different sexualities just like people are born with different color eyes yeah it's not something that you decide I mean maybe people decide you know you can get curious but um, they're people that are you know they just love forbidden fruit, if mm. I could put it that way. Like, and I was thinking, okay, 
back in the day, what was taboo? It was black and white people hanging. And that, that was back in the day. Now we look at this and we're like, what? Yeah. Why did we find this wrong? And now this is the new age taboo. This is the forbidden fruit of the time. And it was, of course, sexuality differences mm. and, oh, marijuana, should we use it for medicinal purposes? You know, things that in the world, you know, because I've been traveling a lot. These things are normal. These things are valid. Uh, people Thank live you. their best lives. And, yeah, it was sad to see my own country, my own doorstep crumbling mm. in the face of something so insignificant, yeah. really. Mm. Um, so that's how the song came along. And, geez, uh, it got nominated in, in New York. And I was like, whoa, I'm glad I did it. Because at mm. the time, I really felt like I stuck out like a sore thumb. Mm. And I didn't know what people would think. And, um, yeah, I guess that was just validation. And yeah, you know, Art Music Awards I won against Tegan and Sarah. They're pretty mm -hmm. big. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's what yeah, you know, that's what happened in New York. Nice. Yeah, and, and what you're saying actually resonates with a, a large part of our student community. Oh, um yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure they appreciate that as well. Okay. Um and then uh, I just wanna know your new high video. Oh yeah. Is very, very original. Never seen anything like it, but it's 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 a, it's amazing, it's brilliant. Yeah. Uh who was behind that concept? Um, I worked with um, a producer. I worked with Vinant. It's alright. No, it happens. Sorry. So I worked. I was being chimera at the same time. I don't know so why he why does I'm that sorry, the whole time. Sorry, Stop yeah. it. <laughs> so I was working with uh, Vinant. He's a uh, he's based in Cape Town, mm. and basically it was just after I'd left uh, my record label, started my own, mm. and you know, kind of really wanted to do what's in my mind. I'm an artist more than just a singer. Yeah. I like creating things and having concepts, and basically he just helped bring the song to life because it basically reflects the whole move from South Africa. I wrote parts of the song in Cape Town, then I moved and I went to. Um, um, London and I live there. That's where I met all these amazing chaps mm. um, and That's where the whole boogie woogie woogie and yeah. this whole freedom <laughs> of um, comes in, you know yeah. It's 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 it was a memory for me I was like I was remembering when I was young and I feel like when we we're young We are the most fearless, you know, like we didn't put so many Restrictions to yeah. our life. We yeah. just did as we felt and happiness was so pure so simple mm. Um, it wasn't something we questioned, mm. eating sugar cane in the sun, doing what we felt. Yeah. So that's where the song basically came from. And then when I got to, you know, London, I was just completely free. Mm. I mean, I could be this individual. I could push my artistry and it was acceptable, you know. So that's why the boogie woogie woogie is just the childish part of like yeah. whatever. Do what you feel. Be free. Make me, yeah, yeah. There we go, there we so, go. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. And now, speaking of your childhood, we did do a little bit of some family oh, background checking, you know. <laughs> um, and we actually found out that you are the granddaughter of, of Mangosutu Butelezi. Yeah. And the great granddaughter of uh, the Zulu king Dino Zulu Shechayo. Yeah, I'm Princess sorry. Princess Makoka, yes. Yes, so, so do you involve that? Did you include that in your music? Is that a huge part of it? Uh, your, you know, your royalty? Because um, that's basically what you are, right? I, yeah, but I don't involve royalty per se. Okay. For me, that's really, not to disrespect it, it's mm. just it shouldn't play a big role in my character. Yeah. Like when I met the chaps, they don't even know this. Mm. I didn't tell them because it, I just <laughs> didn't feel like I needed to. It's more about, you know, the content of character, who yeah. you are as a person, and how I involve that for me, like Ondava. Yo. Teaching them songs, Zulu African songs, no. teaching them about Zulu stomps, like the richness of the culture mm. and kind of blending that in with where we are at the moment. So that's the sort of stuff you're going to witness this evening. It's mm. like, it's a clash, it's like a melting pot, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. What can you say about it? What wow. do you feel about the Zulu stuff? Uh, it's, it's so cool. I mean, we, we've been on a safari like mm. um, a few days ago and we finally met the Zulu land. It was just incredible. I could see like Toya, you know, looking around, like touching the grass with her hand. Like, okay, that's my country, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah. my place. Yeah. Yeah, I must admit, it was beautiful. Probably the best time we spent so far. Oh no, that's that's amazing, and of course we do have a, a beautiful land, and yeah. it's it's good yeah. that you uh, come back and you you are part of this land, Fine. and I must say that you have uh, definitely. Uh, 
put a very unique and important footprint for this country in the world. And uh, like you say, speaking for the LGBT community and all of those uh, types of messages that you are sending that are revolutionizing the youth and even our own parents changing their ideas and stuff. Oh. And that is something that we really do appreciate. Um, but uh, just to sort of uh, close off, where can people actually catch you on social media? Where can they get your music? Yeah. And what's, what's the next move for you? Um, next move, we touring, bro. Right? Yeah. So basically, just, just the beginning. This know? is just the beginning, the yeah. second date of the tour, and you know we felt it was important. I mean, we're seeing a lot of stuff happening on social media, yeah. and people were like, "Oh no, actually, Toya, this is a bad time. You probably shouldn't come." Um, and we're like, "Okay, actually, probably this is the best time to come." We're then. gonna have a try. You know, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> we're actually gonna go. Uh, whatever happens. Um, you know, I come from a bloodline that's always fought for the the country. The first people to ever fight against mm. colonialism mm. were the Zulus. Yeah. We were right there. Yeah. So when I saw this, I was like, why not get involved? I mean, if it's as big as You're it is. You're a warrior, do you? Yeah. You're a warrior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not get involved? I mean, like, for me, it was like, I'm not going to run away now. Yeah. Let's go see what's going on. I mean, um, just like... <sighs> A little bit of experience, like education is such an important thing. Um, the reason I support Fees Must Fall is because of that. Mm -hmm. I understand being from a Shabatini, I didn't just wake up being Toya de Lazy. Right. I wasn't supported completely all my life. Mm -hmm. I know that journey for a black woman, mm -hmm. uh, for a black child. And being overseas and like even Moko, you can say mm -hmm. like, how important is education? Oh wow, yeah. Like That's the, the, like the only weapon they have versus, you know, politician. Uh, all the stuff that is happening around because most of the people they they, ne they don't have like enough knowledge to kind of fight versus this kind right. of problem so the politicians sometimes they, they love when the people they don't have any knowledge because they can rule mm. better mm. so we definitely we support the university or the people willing to have like uh, proper education yeah you know? yeah so that's why we're like hashtag shutdown because we thought oh it's going down <laughs> and yeah this was yeah, quite a brave move, but no, of course nothing's going down. Nobody got shot. No. We're, no. we're waiting for it. I even have my bandana. Oh, I was yeah, like, she's I'm ready. about to wear it. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the second stop. Um, yeah, I hope we're going to be at Prime. Um, mm. It's probably down the road from here. Yeah. Um, and what can I say? After that, we're going to Graf Rinit and then flying off to um, um, Lusaka. So this is just passing through, sharing the energy of what I've experienced overseas. Mm. Um, and it's honestly the most beautiful thing I've ever experienced. Mm. And yeah, um, I just want to share it with you guys. Thank you so yeah. much. And we receive, share as much as you want. Yeah. We will take yeah. it and we'll continue to obviously play the singles because they <laughs> are good. And that is it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that was Toya DeLazy in studio with her amazing band, right? Yeah, you heard it from her. She will be at Prime tonight, so do make your way over there and make sure that you get those tickets, of course. But right now, we're going to head back to the music. It seems like we have some bills to play before that. And then we're going to, you know, play you a nice uh, single by her, uh, yet again, by Toya DeLazy with a1 Wolf uh, IDC. So do stay tuned. Thank you so much, Toya, for Thanks your Thanks for time. having us. Thank yeah. you so much. Yes, Thank you, guys. Right now, we'll go back to the music. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> 89.7 FM.